All right, everybody. Figured I'd do a quick video on pretty much just talking about these coil or CDI or whatever you want to call it. Pretty sure it's just a coil. But uh, these white wires. White wire. It's the big mystery. How the hell do you use them things? Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to talk a little bit about it and tell you what I know about it and what I've found by kind of disassembling one and taking one apart and just looking at different ones. But uh, I'm no electrician or electrical engineer or I don't really know too much. I mean, know a little bit about electricity and how stuff works, but take it as a grain of salt, whatever. Um, but this is what I found out by disassembling one of these and looking at how they're wired and different different ones and they're all kind of different some of them are wired differently and you kind of have to look at it to understand what you're dealing with um this one right here i don't think it would work for a charging system or whatever you want to call it um as you can see the white wire is just connected right where the red wire is you know it's all one continuous coil of wire in there one diameter one coil of wire they just got both wires connected to the same coil <clears throat> uh, if you look on ebay or something and look up a 12 volt coil or motorized bike coil whatever um and you look at the description some of them will say like two wires, like two coils, or two separate wired coils. Um, that's what I used to make uh, my charging system work. One that had two s separate, di they're different diameter wires coiled around the, this. You know, this is one continuous bar of metal that goes through, and they have it soldered right here uh one end of the coil and then it winds around a whole bunch and they connect some wires here and that what creates your electricity the coil of wire um and you can buy some that have another coil of wire on top of this or you know the standard cdi or the one that creates the spark for the engine they wind another coil over that one and um, they just connect it to the end of so like say this was this well this one is one coil of wire so say they just connect it the second coil of wire right directly to the end of this coil and then wind it around a whole bunch and have the wire come out that's where the problem is at least i believe um so i do have an older video i made like 10 years ago i never posted it on youtube or whatever um but i'm gonna see if i can edit that into this video if i can get it into it i'll try but uh i didn't really quite finish making the video because my bro showed up on his bike and, you know, couldn't really hear me with the engine running. So I quit the video. But that was back when I made my charging system. I made that short little video. And I made my charging system or whatever 10 years ago. So it's been a long time since I've done it. But I'm pretty sure I understand pretty well what I did. So if I can edit that in, I'll edit it in now. Otherwise, we'll just try to continue. So, the problem with the 12 volt coil that you buy is they connect it to the end of the first coil. And then they just wind it around a whole bunch and it comes out. That's the problem with that coil. So, by having it connected to the other end of the coil that creates the spark, it just... um 
it interferes with your spark you understand so what I had to do was kind of try to separate them two coils so they're say on this one they'd both be coiled up and they'd both be connected red and white wire so what you have to do is you have to take this red and white wire and I pretty sure I soldered it like the new ground or whatever to the base of this thing and then the two one 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 of the wires is soldered here and the other end single wire would be coming out here so now you're taking where the two wires are connected and you're making it to the base of this and then the and then the two wires coming out of here now are sort of separated instead of kind of one running off the other one it's hard to explain but i'm just trying to give you some ideas to try to get yours working before i make my own video on how i do mine or you know made mine work but you have to do a little bit of unsoldering and just a little bit of changing the wiring around and uh you can get it to work I mean it still puts out AC voltage so you have to get a rectifier and a regulator whatever combo deal and you have to wire your new white wire and the, the whatever black or ground wire you got coming off of here that'll be one circuit to your charging system and then this, this wire and the ground or the base of this will be your ignition system. Um, it's could be wrong. I don't know really what I'm talking about. That's just what I did, and it worked. And I used uh, I think like 10, 10 1.2 volt batteries or something like that. Uh, they got to be the 1.2 ones, otherwise you just fry them out. I'm not sure. Uh, and I. And may, I don't know what exact I don't remember exactly but rechargeable batteries um, 10 of them it's got to be 10 that equal to 12 volts so pretty much if you find the proper voltage double A battery it'd be like 1.2 volt battery those are the ones you want um, that's what I used at least for my storage of the power or electricity or whatever and I pretty much had to isolate the AC voltage for the coil was, you know, because I tried to ground the battery to the frame and, you know, have everything one ground to the frame and that didn't seem to work. Um, so I had to take, you know, the black wire off the frame of this and the white wire that I isolated or separated you know not off the it's hard to explain but I mean this is just trying to give you some ideas so but yeah you can figure it out just look at these closer look at what you got in there if you got two separate diameter coils of wire in there which you can buy them it says right on the ad on eBay for some of them if you look up 12 volt coil those ones you can at least I made work work to charge some a 12 volt whatever power bank batteries rechargeable batteries and it worked and I used it all the time and I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure like because I had a switch to be able to turn off the charging or turn on the charging <clears throat> of the batteries. And once the batteries got like <clears throat> totally full and it, they didn't want to take no more voltage, it might have seemed like it was bogging down my engine. Maybe after that point, because after they're charged, it sends the voltage to ground. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. It was a long time ago, but... I made it work. I'm gonna remake it. Uh, it's gonna happen. Um, hopefully this can help some of you guys figure out what's going on with these things. White wire is not a waste. You can make it work. Uh, use your brain. Look at it. 
see what you see. I don't know. That's what I did. I just see, you know, did what I thought was right, and by looking at what you know it had in there. This one just has one single coil of wire, and they're using it for both red and white, so that's not going to work. But what could work if you separate two different coils of wire, which and you can buy the one that sits over here, and that one, I guess, works. Maybe, I don't know, I've never tried it, but what I had worked, and I know you can make it work too, you just got to figure it out I guess I don't know it's hard to explain I'm not fucking electrician or sorry my language yeah figure it out man you guys can do it I'm gonna be doing it to this build but uh, it's still torn apart you gotta strip it strip all the paint and I'm gonna repaint it once I get it all good I'm gonna start on some of the Stuff like, you know, the charging coil and headlights and maybe some stuff like that. So, um, yeah, comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them, but it's hard to, I'm not very good at explaining this kind of stuff. So, yeah, just look at it closely, I guess. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck.